2.26 in the morning, guys. I'm having my coffee, and I'm going to craft with you guys. I'm going to put my coffee aside. I'm going to get a drink. That's so good. Anyway, we're going to be creating some gnomes. Now, I'm making my Christmas gnome, but you can make them for Halloween, Valentine's, beach gnomes, garden gnomes, whatever you guys want. I'm making Christmas gnomes. Now, to create these beautiful gnomes, um, this one I made it the other night. If you go into the video that has the Halloween spooky story, fast forward um, and you'll see how I made that. We're going to be using several things from both Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby. And um, I know Hobby Lobby has a gnome, honestly, for a dollar. Not too bad. Not my personal preference. I don't really care for it. I just didn't like it. I just didn't like it. Anyway, so, you know, us crafters, we got to make it. We got to spend more to make it, right? That's just how we are. So what we're going to need are these glass beads. Now, you can use cat litter, rice. Rice here is um, something we eat. So we're not using, that's a no-no in my house. Um, but we're going to use these crushed glass that you can purchase at um, Dollar Tree for a dollar. I make two gnomes out of that. And actually I use these little um, water bottles um, and I mark it there and I get about two gnomes out of one bag. You're also going to need either your small little Dollar Tree scissors or your fabric scissors. You will need some twine some crochet thread and some Dollar Tree socks. Now there's several you can purchase. I picked up this, this is a pack um, of one um, or a pair one, one pair, yeah, one pair. Um, and I have this, they come in that color, they come in black, they come in red, they come in blue, whatever color you want. You can pick up one of those thermal socks um, at Dollar Tree for a dollar, not bad. Um, you can make one, um, well, you can make two gnomes out of the pair, but one gnome out of one socks. And I use these little um, shoes. Last year they had them. They were a lot cuter last year. And this year this is what they had. Um, but I picked these up at um, Hobby Lobby. They're 50% off right now. So I paid $2.50, um, originally $4.99. And they also have these little um, little hats. I use the little mittens for him. You can also use these stones. They're also from Dollar Tree if you don't want to use the glass. You could probably get more out of this little bag. Um, this is up to you. Um, so this is a little stocking cap that comes in that little set. And it also comes with a little scarf. I didn't use this yet. I'm going to probably make a snowman for that. Um, you can grab these at Hobby Lobby. Um, they were $2.99. I paid $1.50. Um, you can also grab these little brush trees that are on sale also at Hobby Lobby. I can't remember the price because I removed the tag. Um, let's see what else you're going to need. Polyfill. I buy my polyfill from um, Hobby Lobby. They're $2.99 a bag. Um, this here um, little stem is also from Hobby Lobby. I think I paid like $1.50 for the bag. And let's see, let's see. Oh, stocking, yes. You can use nylon stocking. You can use a wood um, round um, ball. You have to paint it though. I just found that these little stockings or leggings or what do you call it? Pantyhose, gosh, I forgot what they're called. Um, I just found that they work better for me. You can buy that. It's a pack of three for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Um, as far as fur, a lot of people buy those hats from Dollar Tree that has the fur. I don't prefer that because, one, it's not enough fur. Um, I can buy this fur and it comes in def different colors at Hobby Lobby. Use my 40% coupon and it's $3.49 with your 40% not bad deal. And it's a pretty big piece. Like I've used it for several of my gnomes. Um, I see one, two, three, four gnomes. And I still have this big chunk here. So not a bad deal whatsoever, right? Uh, in my book. So let's see what else. I think that's about it. Oh, and for the legs, what I did is I used these wood dowels that you can purchase at Hobby Lobby. They're the quarter inch by 12 inch. 
I think I paid $2.99. Again, you can have your hubby stand on one line, you stand on the other. He uses a 40 and you use your 40, whichever. Or put one of your kids to do it. I do that too. I have my kids stand in line with me. Um, so I use that for the legs to give it more stability. And the little glass beads also gives it stability. Like I said, you could use cat litter, rice. Rice is not something, an option here um, because that's what we eat. But I found that the glass beads um, work great. Now, another secret that you can do with these glass beads, you can put some um, essential oils and kind of mix it in, and it gives it a nice aroma as well. Now, you're going to also use your glue gun and or your Fabri-Tac. I, I, I think Fabri-Tac is really important. So let's get started. I think I, I went over all the bases. So um, you're just basically going to grab your socks. And I've already cut these. Let's grab one that I haven't cut. I do about eight and a half inch. I'm going to eyeball this, but mm, it's about eight and a half inch. So you lay it flat, cut it about eight and a half is what I'm doing. And um, I just kind of eyeball. Save that because that's for your hoodie or your little hat. And well, look, that's nine inches. That's good enough. And then what you're going to do is take half of the package of your um, glass, put a little bit of essential oil in there, a few little drops, mix it in, let it dry up a little bit, and then so that way it's, the oil's not penetrating in, put it in the bottom, okay, like so. Grab your polyfill. Grab enough. You want that little fellow to be chunky 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 he wants to, he you have to make sure he's eating plenty right so we're going to make sure he eats plenty of polyfill or stuffing if you have an old pillow you can probably use that as well you know recycle 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 you know what we say you have to make the best of what we have and if you don't have all these items go through your kids junk drawer i'm pretty sure the washer was, um, I don't know if you guys have that problem. I know my washer does that. The, myster the mysterious socks that are always disappearing from our washer. You guys have that problem? I know I do. So it seems like you always are missing one socks. Just one socks. One socks. I could, I could never understand that. Um, but Go through your kid's drawers, your husband's drawer, you know, those old thermal socks. Grab them. Um, now that, you know, some people are on, um, because of the pandemic, um, some places are wanting to lock down. Um, and you can do some wonderful craft with your kids um, or your grandkids or your nieces and nephew. This is a great little craft to keep them busy and occupied during these times. So just make sure you um, grab some of those old socks and do these little wonderful projects. You can also, I remember with my kids, we made little snowmen out of the socks. I love making those. All right, so he's a little chunky. Let's extend his body here, make him a little bit taller. And it's not really, um, a difficult project to do. All right, so once you're comfortable with his little body form, gather him up, grab your twine. I'm going to use twine. And you can get twine at uh, and just wrap it around a couple times, pull it tight. Um, you can grab twine at Dollar Tree as well. There's a lot of things in Dollar Tree that are great buys. But then again, there's the ones that I'm like questioning, why does people do that? Like, really? Um, I'm not a fan of some of these home decors that people do that, you know, from Dollar Tree. Please don't leave me nasty mail because you think that um, I'm criticizing Dollar Tree home decor. That's great. I think it's great when people do that. But I, I you know, you have to have that kind of a um, personal taste to it. I don't care for that, those um, some of those things. I'm going to jump into those. All right. So then you have this, right? This little guy here. 
We're going to trim. Now, be careful because you can use some of this to make his mittens. You can also use it to, um, you know, um, let, me, let me save it. I made his little cuff on, where is that guy? Where is he? Right here. I use it for his little cuff for his mittens. See that? So you don't want to, definitely, you do not want to toss it. Let me lay him over here because he's in my way. All right, so there's our fella. All right, nice and plump. Make sure he sits really good. All right, so then we're going to move on to our um, fur. You can see I have this piece here. You just want to kind of do like a triangle shape here. I'm going to try to, you know, maximize what I have going on here. And let's turn it this way. I know that we got to make sure we cut. So let's cut this here, maybe. Turn it this way so I can see. Mm. And you can use some of this fur also for his cuffs. Go a little bit higher because he's a little bit taller. Um, so I'm just going to. You might have to see that. You're going to get some little pieces that flies off. You can use this for his mustache if you want to add more to his, you know, mustache. I don't want to deal with that little. Mess. And I know there's another way of cutting the, uh, the fur, I'm sure, but I didn't go to fur school. I went to crafter school. All right, so yeah, that's good. That's good enough. And we can shape him up, you know, as we go. I think that's a pretty good length right smack there. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to grab our glue gun. And I'm just going to... Grab, I'm just going to put some on the top right here, and that's it. I'm not going to do the bottom or the sides or anything like that until he is perfectly A-OK -okay with everything else. So I'm just going to lay that right smack right there. And, uh, yeah, right there. And then we're going to grab the other part of the sock. And we're going to... Now, the other way that I did is you can do a couple things here. You can take it to your sewing machine and you can kind of give it that shape like we have here. See that cone shape there? And you can do that or you can do it like this little guy over here where he is um, stuffed and I kind of folded him down and made a little pom-pom out of the tip and you can do that so if you go to my video from the other night basically what I did is I turned it inside out just like so and I like this one here I use this part here for the mittens um, because I just kind of like that and I also used it for the arms um, on this little fellow you see his arms it's the body and then I used the tip for the mittens and if you go to that video that has Halloween spooky stories you'll see how I did that okay so what we're gonna do is I am going to you can take your sewing machine go whoop, like that I am gonna probably cut some of this off and we could probably use that for something else you know honestly we could you know Let's see, do I want a longer hat? Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to keep it to size. Now, this size, I'm going to tell you right now, it is 12 and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine. I'm going to make a stitch that goes up, down like a triangle, leaving this bottom part here open. So again, I'm going to go from, from here up and make a triangle stitch. And then I'm going to trim off any extras, and we're going to use that for the arm. So let me go to my sewing machine, and you're going to hear my sewing machine going off in the back. And I might be a little distant, but, um, you know, I'm not always quite prepared, guys. Y'all know me. I'm never prepared. But I wanted to show you a couple little things that you could do. 
uh, with these little fellows. Now, one thing I can tell you is that because of the stocking being, um, or the sock being at, um, stretchy, just be careful. I want you guys to yell at me, oh, you ruined my sewing machine. I'm just telling you right now. That's. Y'all know how to deal with, most of you guys are better sewers than I am anyway. Y'all know how to deal with that. I always tell people I'm not a seamstress, don't want to be one, don't want to pretend to be one. Um, I'm just a crafter. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how we do it here. All right. So, see my stitch? See my little, my V? Shh, not the perfect stitch. I'm not going for perfection, honestly. Because um, he's alone, you know? All right. So, we're going to cut all this little extra stuff along the stitch. And preserve enough, if we can, of this so we can use it for the arms. And yeah, that's a perfect little, we can perfectly make a little arms out of that. And you're going to need um, your fabric tack for that. I find that it's easier than trying to use the, the hot glue, to be honest, to do the arms. You could probably um, sew this part. I mean, glue this part. Obviously, you sewed it, right? But um, it might be, to me, a little bit, I don't know. I just like things to be right. All right, so down here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut, just for the front, just a small little semicircle, um, just for the front. Like that. I want to toss that one. All right, so we have that semicircle, just a small little, small little minute cut. You can put a wire in here to kind of shape it, which I did. Um, just make sure, you know, you're careful with that. I'm not going to put a wire on this one, just because I don't feel like it. Take something to kind of get that tip to turn in some more coffee. I find that working on these videos a little bit later on, when it was like two in the morning, you guys are all sleeping. When the world is sleeping, me is crafting. But it's easier for me because the, dog, the dogs aren't barking. You know how that is. I'm not being bombarded with 20 million things to do. There we go. Get it. Getting it. Getting it. You all know how it is. Okay, got it. Okay, so we're left with that little guy. Stretch him out a little. Because, you know, he's got a pretty big head. And you can put, definitely put a wire in there. Just to kind of shape, you know, if you want. But... I think I'm not. You can stuff this a little, but I find that too much stuffing kind of interrupts the process in it, in his little head. Um, all right, so yeah, like that. So the the part that we cut for the lip, the semicircle, that's for the front, of course, obviously, and the longer part to the back. Let's put it in there. Stuff him in because he got a big head. Big head. All right. That's good. That's pretty much that's how our little guy. We're, we'll remove all the fuzzies, of course, later on. So he's going to go like that. And you can, you know, fix his little 
add a little bit more as you go along. All right, so there we go. He doesn't look quite handsome yet. All right, let's get the stocking or the panty liner. <sighs> okay, I need more coffee. Coffee at um, 2.46 in the morning is delicioso. All right. I know I have one open, so let's use the one that's open. So we're not getting um, our stuff. Kind of like that. You can make two noses out of one piece. Two noses, just so you know. Right. Get a little bit of polyfill. Make it into a little ball. I think this guy needs a big nose because he's got a big body. Kind of play it by ear. Definitely he's going to have a big nose. Grab your, your um, put it towards the corner there like so. And kind of get a feel if that's the nose you want for him. Yeah, I like that nose. Pretty big, right? Stretch it. But put him in the corner that way you kind of conserve. Grab your, and you want a big piece of the crocheted for, you need like a big piece and a small piece. So I'm gonna go with the small first, and you'll see why. All right. I think I need that little piece in there. Let's put that little piece in there. all in there. Twist it. Kind of shape the little nose. The nose of the gnome. Grab your small piece of um, cotton thread, or crochet thread. Twist it a couple times and then or wrap it around a couple times and then tie about two knots just to make sure you secure it in place. Is that again? Trim it and take that little ball, and you want it to go back in. Crack, get that off. Put it back in to that corner without the line. Throw it back in and pull and gather. So, that way you have that other corner so you can make another nose. So you gotta make sure you pull it right. See that little spot right there? We need to make sure we pull all that right. And grab your bigger thread. And the reason it's bigger, cause this one's gonna wrap around his body, okay? Um, And then tie it. Then tie that one. You can also use um, instead of using your your um, socks, you can use felt sweaters. Um, the one gnome I have to my left with the green little hat, that one was with a sweater. Don't break it off, your thread that is. Take and pull all this out, out like that and just snap that off. And then you're left with that little piece that you can use for another nose. 
Okay. Um, so this little fellow here, I use a sweater that had a stain. And I like the sweater, I like the color, and I thought it was perfect. So we kind of use that um, to make that hat. And that's just the pattern that I made. All right, so remove his hat. Um, and let's go ahead. And he's going to sit right, figure out, I like the little shape there. Kind of looks good for his nose. And figure out where you're going to lay it, like so, like that. And grab your hot glue and put, spread out your two threads on each side. Take your glue and figure out that little piece there that you want it in. And bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. Hold it. Take your thread. Bring it to the back. And let's give him a little bit of a shape here. So he can have a little bit, instead of such a big head, you know, let's make that head a little bit slimmer. And I don't have the best, um, y'all know, y'all know. the best dexterity in my hands. See what I mean? I can't hold things really tight. I slip. That's where little fingers, Nani, would be great to be here, but it's two in the morning. Stan May, so I can make sure I get this tied in. I'm sure you guys have similar issues when you have problems with your hands. There we go, we got it. Just had to stand and put a little bit of muscle in there. And you can put a little bit of, um, and save this because you can use that for your next nose. Um, you can put a little bit of um, hot glue just to secure it in place if you want or not, whichever. Don't put too much because you don't want it too, um, too messy. Grab some of my coffee. And then, grab that hat. Oh, my little guy's coming along, and he's handsome. He's so handsome. If you find that you don't have enough hair, just grab some of that hair you kind of Tossed out. And a secret that Miss uh, Patricia told me is grab a little bit of hairspray. I don't have any with me, but grab a little bit of hairspray just to kind of rub it in your hand and kind of get his hair to stay in one place, you know? All right, again, with that cutout piece, let's go ahead and put that in our big headed guy here. So that right there, we're going to put on the bridge of his nose, we're going to put some glue, bead of glue. Kind of helps with uh, placing your hat on the bridge of his nose. And let's 
squeeze in there. Okay. On here, on this side, this side here, the tip here, grab a little bit of glue on right that edge right there. Just put it on that that side of your just a little don't put too much. Just a little. And hold it down in place. Might be a little hot. Okay. Do the same thing on the opposite side. It might be a little hot because I know I can feel the, the, the hotness, the heat. And you might want to put some little, little silicone tips or use your silicone brush, whichever. Oh, I think he looks cute. He's got that flipped up. All right. Wasn't intending for that. All right. So we are not pushing this little guy's, um, these parts here down yet because we got to tuck in his arm so do not glue uh, do not glue down the sides um, just because we are going to be attaching some arms but that's going to come down that just gives it that nice little curvy end right there almost like this here where I did this here the round that just kind of gives it that nice little curvy edge there um, right there see Okay, don't do the back yet until we get those arms in. That way you have more room to kind of move that around. I'm gonna go ahead, I see that he didn't do so good going down here. Grab my little silicone brush, hold it in place. And Dollar Tree does have those little silicone tips. I just got fat fingers. That doesn't work for me. I'm going to do a video on what crafty items you can pick up at Dollar Tree at a very reasonable price. And, you know, I think it's a great deal. Not everything at Dollar Tree to me is worth getting. Like, honestly, I don't, I don't understand sometimes. The madness of people that goes crazy shopping at Dollar Tree. All right. Oh, his whiskers are coming along. See that? So you can take a little bit of that hairspray, as Miss Patricia suggested, and kind of make him stand out. And then you can shape this here a little bit better if you want. Now, for the arms, we had that little piece that was left over. I come right through it right here. Go ahead and grab our scissors. And this is where the fabric tag will come into place. Now, what I suggest is you're going to, what I did with the mittens, I cut it right smack on that seam, that little hem. See, that's just the hem. And do that on both. Just like that. Grab your um, fabric tack. See that rolls, 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 rolls. And um, fabric tack is a little bit, I find it, it's a little bit better for me than the hot glue because I'm not fast enough. I'm not, a, if, you're, if you're good at, you know, holding it down in place, you just want to roll it. And then um, grab the other end. If you're good at that, um, go for it. You could probably put a little pipe, those pipe cleaners or a wire, something, make it movable, you know. Uh, that's again a personal preference and entirely up to you. Be careful on this part because you know fabric tack will live a little seepage. Right. 
squeeze it in there. I'll turn that off. Same old, same old. Now, I'm going to show you how to do use that little hem and bottom piece as a mitten. But you're welcome to go to Hobby Lobby and pick up the one that I showed you that comes with the scarf, the little hoodie if you don't want to uh, buy a hat. Or buy socks to make the hat. Again, that's a personal preference and that's entirely up to you. But I'm just going to show you how to use recycle that little piece. I like the inside look of it and I thought that just gave it a reversed cuteness. Please it. Okay. For the mittens, here's that piece. We're going to go and cut half of this. We're going to make a total of two pairs of mittens with those two little pieces. We're just going to use that, turn it this way because we want, I want the, that, that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, this is the arm, I'm going to take that, put a bead of glue in the center, place my arm, the thicker part of it, there, and then I want to put on each side of that, I'm going to take and in the center, piece of glue, fold it over, and I'm going to squeeze each side. And you could stitch this. Now, I, I like that little raggedy look. Okay, grab your other one. The other way. On each side. Oops. Pull my tip here soon. Fold it over. Squeeze on each opposite side. When you get um, Fabri Tac on your fingers, grab your rubber eraser and just kind of remove some of that off. It gets annoying. I know I, I find it to be annoying. You can save this if you want. You can use it for the cuff, whichever. Go ahead and squeeze those. Together. And then dry. And then grab this little, you can grab this one, or you can grab these, the little extras. And you can use these for your cuff here. Okay, let's go 
ahead and trim. What I do is I wait till this is really dry because it gets sticky and I don't like that white part. Get close as you can and then kind of curve it onto the top. Again, make sure it's sealed. And trim. Okay. And shape it. The same thing on the other. Curve it, curve it on the top. Don't do too much on this one. There was just a small little piece. Okay. Okay. And. Then let's cut a little piece of this to wrap around. Make sure they're both about the same size. Wrap around that cup. So make sure you do it on, here's the um, side that has a seam. So make sure you wrap this around this way. So let's get that going. And I can probably make, let's see. Oh, I need a clean that tip. Let's see if I should make it thinner. No, I like it like that. <laughs> All right, so let's go cut a bead of glue. Seam down that way. Really need to clean the tip. Find out when you have that tip so dirty, it gets so hard. There's that. Um, let me clean my tip here for that. They are you crazy guys. I don't know me. Oh, I forgot. I took the dog out and I forgot to let him back in. Oh my god, my daughter's probably going to kill me. Okay. Let it sit till he dries for a little bit. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna grab this little. I'm gonna grab a little piece of clean out of that. Okay. So you're left with that, and I can kind of get that arm. I'll bring him in. You're going to put him right around there, and he, you're just going to try to s position him where you are kind of figuring out where you're going to bring him to this side. So right about there. So I'm going to go ahead and get some family tack on the seam bows in, of course. And again, that's personal preference how long you want his arms to be. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Use that bead of glue to hold down that part of the hat as well. Remember, we're going to also use this here. Do that down. Okay, 
arm to the front, bring that down like so. Make sure it's kind of curly there. You can put a put a button there if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and pin it down so I can move on to the next. Otherwise, we're gonna be here forever and while it holds. Let's do the other side. I'm going to go ahead and get some hot glue just to make this faster. I like that. Um, battery tack because a lot to me I find that it's a lot more permanent but for the purpose of the video I think I need fast. Something fast and quick. All right, I'm going to go ahead and bring that piece down. Let's again do Then you can kind of see where that curled in, lift it up a little, and then just kind of glue. Again, that's a personal where you want that. I'm going to move this over off camera, of course. Oops, my glue gun doesn't go all the way this way. Hold it down, pat it down, roll it up however you want. And then he looks like that. And then you can decide if you want to cut more of his beard or whatever. And you can bring his arms up that way forward. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my glue and I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to go ahead and use my fabric tack, but you can use your um, hot glue. The reason I'm using my fabric tack is kind of on the off camera. You can use your hot glue. Kind of get them patted down. Get these little edges here on the side. You want to make sure you get that down so it doesn't look like, you know. If your hand or got any fat retack, make sure you use your silicone. Um, pat that down. And same thing on the opposite side. See that right there where it lifts? You want to make sure that's patted down and so that's making that contact with your little known guy here. Okay. And make sure it's all nice and sticking, 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 sticking. glue is a lot faster but I cannot get it to reach on the other side. Alright, clean him up, get his little hairs to where you need your hands cleaned up so you're not getting some of that. His whiskers, Grab whatever it is you want to put in his little hands. And for him, we're just going to go ahead and do a quick tree. And gee, he can hold anything. You know, if you find something, I'm hoping I can find one of those little cards. But he, he can hold anything in his little hands you want to give him the hold. I'm going to go with the green so he can stand out a little bit more. You can put some twine, which is what I did. I'm not going to do that on this one, but I did it on the other. 
So just kind of on each side of your element. Last year they had those little cute um, red trucks. You can take the Jenga's, which is um, a Jenga piece, and um, which if you watch some of my little videos from last year, Christmas, take the Jenga piece, um, take some little um, letter stamps and type or stamp the word joy or Christmas or whatever and put it in his hand. He's holding one of those um, pieces from... Um, you can use a Jenga, do something like that. But this one I got it from Hobby Lobby, but um, you can do that with the Jengas as well. You don't have to do all that. And you can grab some Jengas at Dollar Tree. All right, so that is him um, like that. Now to put his little feet, here's what I um, suggest you do. Um, and you can see my video of how I do that. And you can put a little bell um, on him on the tip like that. and I'm going to grab this and I'm going to grab a bell you can rust up your bells you can grab bells at Dollar Tree um, and grab your needle and thread and attach a little bell whatever you want to put on him actually it's, it's entirely up to you what you want to put on him Grab some thread. Grab your needle. all over them. Last year, they had the little red trucks for ornaments. I didn't see them this year at Dollar Tree, and those would have been cute for him to be holding. But you can take the little Jingas and um, take your little uh, type alphabet and stamp the word joy or Xmas or whatever you guys want to put on there and use that as well. Instead of do, doing that. to be a lot cute. I put some snowflakes that you can purchase at um, Dollar Tree as well on him with a little button and I just kind of took some um, white paint, distressed the edges and attached it to him. That's from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to grab these little hollies and um, use little ferns. Get a little piece off. And just 
kind of slide that in and pinch it in between. Stem ring. Something. And this will tap stop. hat there. Put some glue over here off camera. You can put a button. Now for his little feet. This is what I suggest you do. I'm going to tell you and um, you can do however you want. On this guy here, what I just did is I just kind of um, grabbed a little bit of the um, stones and I put a little bit in there, but I found it really didn't do much help and I did it on the other one. You might have to remove some of the stuff, the stuff polyfill on them. Um, and then you can take the, the, the the dowels, stick it in, and measure up about that much, and you'll try to stick it into as far as you can in your shoe, fill it up more with poly, and go about that much in, and then cut out, cut your your wood dowel, and um, you can do that. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to remove all this poly off of it, and ram these in there um, and and then stuff around as much as you can and then go ahead and put your poly around Boots. You might need more poly from your stash. Grab some extra poly from your stash and grab a little piece. Same thing on the other side. We're going to just glue some of this stuff down, stuck on the thread. See that? Might run into that. I don't fight with it, I just kind of go with it. And um, Dollar Tree also have these little wood dowels. Um, I don't know, I think it's a pack of 12. There's a lot smaller, a lot thinner. You can try those. Um, I just wanted something a little bit, I thought this one for $1.50 or $2.99 and I used 40 on it. Those are too bad. Because I can cut them down whatever size I wanted. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Well, make sure you stuff it all the way around. All right, 
pen, grab your die, and just make a small little, make sure you figure out where he's going to go, right? And um, make a little incision. Remember you have the little, you might want to get your exact on my body that way, maybe it's easier. And you can kind of grab also your pen and mark. Let me just grab my pen. Pen marker, whatever works for you. You can probably take this, dip it into some paint, and make that little mark. I don't have any paint with me right now. Ram those in there. I gotta move it in with all that poly and all the stones. And what you're gonna do is grab your hot glue and put some glue on here. Make plenty. I'm gonna refill my glue gun though before I do that. And that's pretty much all you do with this little guy here. Um, oh, so now you decide you can reach over here, huh? Get plenty of glue on there. Front, back, and sides, all up. Have it. Ram it in and hold it in. So that's pretty much all you do. Um, you're going to hold that in there for a bit. So I'm not going to do too much. You're going to hold it in there. And I will say it's a little bit, you might need like a lean it against something so that because this is not really um, the wood dowel, it just gives it a cuteness. Um, the shoes. You don't need the shoes if you don't want the shoes, um, but if, if you're going to use the shoes, make sure and use the wood dowel. The wood dowel kind of helps it a little, um, helps it keep it more sturdy, um, but just lean it against something, that's all. That's all I say, you know, on that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and push down. I'm pushing down on him, and once he's done, then you can just put him wherever you want. You can put probably the word joy on his hat, you know, make him a little bit more cutesier, um, add more embellishments. You can put a little gift box on his hands, whatever it is, the sky is the limit on these little guys. The next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to actually make the little hat that I made for the other guys. So stay tuned for that video, guys. Until next time, guys, also don't forget, I almost forgot, I almost forgot. On the video that has fourth hop, or fourth hop Sunday, um, where I did the paper clips. Make sure you guys leave a comment. I'm going to be selecting one person in the next week to win one of my little paper clips, just one. Um, I'll mail it off to you. And um, um, I'll do that this week. And also, um, don't forget to always leave a comment at the end of my videos. Tell me how, um, if you have any questions or how I can better. Um, the tutorial or if there's any anything else that I need to know um, your comments are welcome uh, leave a comment once a month I'll select one person just to receive a little something something it could be a card it could be a tag it could be something that could fit into a little envelope um, uh, that I can ship out so make sure you do that I appreciate all your comments um, and uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button Right next to it is the little bell. It'll remind you whenever I upload a video or whenever I go live. We are going to be having, or me, I'm going to be having a sale on, I believe it's on the Sunday, the Sunday the 8th, if I'm not mistaken. But make sure you check that out. I'll be selling a couple little random stuff. Um, 
So yeah, so stay tuned till the next video, guys. Until next time, thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to leave a comment. Don't forget to go to the fourth YouTube hop or fun hop or whatever it was hop, but it has fourth on it. Um, it's 2, 3.31 in the morning. I don't function. My brain's not functioning right, right, right about now, but leave a comment. I will select one person to get one of the paper clips. Um, one, just one. Um, and that's a, just a token of my appreciation for leaving a comment and also I will select the one person out of all the comments that left me in the month of October um, I'll select one person to send them a little something something from me on my behalf so again thank you so much for all the wonderful comments and thank you for watching till next time bye bye